Hi, baby. <laughs> Miss Yuki. Hi. He wants to be a part of everything. I'm trying to record a video. <laughs> <laughs> everybody welcome to my channel thank you for stopping by thank you for clicking on this video if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and turn on the little bell notification so that way you know when I upload a new video I want to thank you again for showing such good interest in the first video that I did for this um, it was a little bit out of my comfort zone I obviously mainly do gaming and stuff like that so being able to talk about the things that kind of affect me in my daily life is really awesome and it's great to get this information out there to possibly help others who are also dealing with similar things and not really knowing how or what to do about it or how to go about kind of getting things in motion to fix it. So anyway, thank you again. Um, we're going to talk about sleep paralysis in this video. So. Um, it's a big thing right now. A lot of people have been talking about it, but a lot of the stuff that I've seen is a bit more, I wouldn't say fictional, but it's not really the scientific part of it. It's more so the supernatural, the kind of all of that. And while I'm not going to discount that, I'm a big supernatural, just like I believe in <laughs> so much of that it's I'm not saying that it's not but coming from somebody who has a sleep disorder that causes this um, I would like to come at it from that stance and then maybe in the future I will do a video otherwise but for now that's just what this is going to be so let's get on into it alrighty so what is sleep paralysis <laughs> Well, if you have seen The Haunting of Hill House, um, which in my opinion is probably one of the best, which is weird because it is a very like paranormal, supernatural, just weird show, it honestly to me gives the best representation of what sleep paralysis is. So sleep paralysis is when your body, when you're going over from that sleep state over to wakefulness or vice versa your body kind of gets trapped. And so there are two types of sleep paralysis. There's, I'm gonna read these so I don't mispronounce them. There's hypnagogic, which happens before sleep. So that's when you're kind of falling into your sleep. And then there is the hypnopompic, which happens during or after. So that's during sleep or as you're waking up from sleep. Now, um, there are different times, obviously, that these will happen and they will affect you differently. Um, so with the hypnagogic, the way that that works, so when you're falling into sleep, when you are going from that kind of wakeful, just kind of, you know, I'm trying to fall asleep, let me, you know, and then you're finally getting into that sleep part, what happens is, is your body freezes your muscles so that way you can't act out your dreams and it's done for your safety. Um, it's your body's way of protecting yourself so that way if you decide to act out one of your dreams, you're not punching yourself in the face or somebody next to you, even though I still do that sometimes, um, my poor husband. Um, but it's just kind of a, a self-defense mechanism. And unfortunately, sometimes our brains are not on board with that. And so essentially what will happen is, is while you're your muscles are frozen, your brain is still kind of awake. And so what's going to happen is you're not gonna be able to move and if you've already started dreaming, so if you're in REM sleep and you've already started dreaming, you might happen to see things that aren't really there. And so you're going to start seeing dreams as if they were in real life. And then the other one, which is the hypnopompic, that happens during sleep or after. So like during or while you're waking up from sleep. And so you're now going from that sleep up into the wakefulness and now that's the one that I mainly deal with um, and it usually happens in the middle of the night or any of that and nine times out of ten my husband is at work and so unfortunately I'm left scared crapless because I don't know you know when you first wake up from it you don't know what the hell's going on all you know is that all of a sudden you can finally move again and you're not dying so that's great um, and for me personally, what usually happens is I will, I'll wake up, I won't, and, and most of us kind of deal with it kind of the same way, it's, it's kind of the same thing. You wake up, you don't realize you're awake just yet, you realize you can't move, 
And so, and then you kind of start to become aware and unfortunately your dreams tend to slip out and tend to kind of spill over into that. And so you start seeing either what was in your dream or you just start seeing weird things. Um, and it gets very, 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 very scary. Again, if you are alone, which happens a lot. Um, unfortunately, there's not much that anybody or anyone can do. My husband is really awesome. And like I said, if you've seen Haunting of Hill House, um, I forget the girl's name, but her, her fiance, um, which I think he was her husband at the time, I'll put, I will type in what everything is so that way um, I just can't remember it right now. But he was really good at helping her. You know, he would sit there with her and he would kind of try to like talk her through it. And it is something that we all, you know, those of us that deal with it on a daily basis, it's, it's, it's trial and error trying to figure out how to get yourself out of it. You know, that's paying attention to your toes and your fingers and trying to move, focusing on your breath, focusing on your eyelids, like all of that because you literally can't do more than just breathe and it's frightening, it's terrifying, especially when there's something in the room with you that should not be there. So um, that's kind of, um, that, that's the two of them and it is very, very, very common. It, it's, it's thought to affect about three million per year, probably more. Um, and so I'm sure most of you have probably dealt with it at least once in your life. But again, this is just coming from a narcolepsy standpoint and somebody who deals with it every day, sometimes multiple times a day. You know, I guess this video, again, like I said, it's all kind of just going to be educational, kind of explaining things to people and, you know, kind of getting it out there that it's normal. You might have it, and if you think that you do, you should probably go ahead and try to get yourself diagnosed. Um, but again, like I said in the last video, this isn't funny. I'm tired of people making jokes out of it. I'm tired of people using my disorder and you know other people's disorders and their diseases and all of that as things to make fun of us for because unfortunately you don't have it or I mean you might not have it but they don't have it and so it's easy to make fun of something when you don't know anything about it when all you see is the aftermath and the things that you think are funny but when we're living this day to day and I'm dealing with sleep paralysis and I'm dealing with being so tired that like I can't function in life sometimes it's very hard to reach out and get help and all of that because you know what if somebody makes fun of me what if somebody's not going to accept me for me because well you have narcolepsy and that's just freaking hilarious so let's make a big joke out of it I mean I've been dealing with that for the past year now as it is um, and so I guess you know I just hope that I'm touching somebody in a way that you know you're learning more and you're becoming more educated on it and again I will leave links down below to let you guys know more about so you can find out more but one thing that I really wish that would stop happening is for people to stop making fun of all of this because what I'm going through and what everybody else that has this is going through is very real. It's not funny. It's not, it's nothing of that sort. Um, you wouldn't make fun of somebody that has AIDS. You wouldn't make fun of somebody that has cancer. Although I do see people doing that, which is freaking insane. Um, so why make fun of somebody who, while I look normal and I look like I'm going through my days, normally why why would you make fun of me too why would you make fun of anybody else like that why would you make fun of anybody in the first place but I guess I just you know I, I don't I don't get that so yeah but anyway um, I guess you know from here if you have any questions as you will just let me know um, I am here to help I am here to flood you with some knowledge so yeah, if you have any questions, post them down below. Again, you can join in the Discord. If you would like to support me, you can um, do so through Patreon. Um, and I would so appreciate it. Any help is, is great. But yeah, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And again, if you love this video, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification so that way when I do post a new video, you know. And I look forward to talking to you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>